All right, uh, let's talk about scale shifts and uh, vertical scales versus horizontal scales. Uh, when you learn your scales initially, uh, you learn them vertically. And there's a reason for doing this because it, it gets you familiar with the fretboard and, and, the, um, and the scale forms that fall underneath your fingers vertically up and down the fretboard. Um, however, what you're going to want to do is connect those scale forms and and do so efficiently and in a real world kind of way where where it feels comfortable for you to make those shifts and and it, it it's efficient. All right, so first of all, uh, when we when we look at the scales, we we define them as being first position, second position in the case of C major, uh, fifth position, seventh position, and ninth position. If we want to connect those scales, we have to have a way to do that. Now, as far as our hand is constructed, obviously our first finger, our index finger is the one that moves to each of those um, scale positions. So I would call this this uh, first position. And this would be second position. My first finger is here. This is, uh, this is important. And then my first finger is here at fifth position. And then my first finger on seventh position. First finger, ninth position, I go through one little shift there, right? And then finally, first finger repeating at twelfth position. Okay, now how do we connect? This is the way we connect, and uh, and I'm going to do this in a in a um, a progressive systematic method that you can if you want to learn how to do this and connect your your entire fretboard you you can apply this uh, these techniques and, and concepts uh, so first of all we're always thinking of shifting with finger one so the first thing i'm going to do is play on uh, the first uh, uh, position and i'm going to move up to not the second position, but I'm going to move up to the fifth position, right? So here we start with first position. I'm going to go to first string, shift with my first finger to the fifth position, right? First finger, fifth position, back down, shift to the, uh, to the first position again. Now, uh, I'll do that one more time. Okay, now the next, the next one, I'm do, well, I'll do string two. Shift to fifth position. Back down to first position. Now, when I shift a position, I'm shifting a position, I'm not targeting a note. So when I shift, I don't think like this. You know, this is the next note I need, so that's where I'm going to go. Don't fall into that. Um, when I shift a position, I shift my hand and then play the, uh, uh, the fingering that I, that I played before, right? Let's do the third string now. I have to get the B there with my baby finger and then shift again to fifth, fifth position. Fifth shift, back down, shift. And I can do fourth string, shift. case I'm shifting to the fifth position uh, let's do let, let's do fifth string I just shift All right you get the idea so the concept is you are using your first finger to make all the shifts so now let's move to uh, second position 
second position C major scale, and then we're going to move to the seventh position C major scale. Uh, and we'll do the same, same thing. We're just going to move... Um, in it with our first finger on the first string. And you can see how the scale forms are beginning to connect from vertical forms uh, to vertical forms connected laterally across the fretboard. This is just the beginning, but the concept here is always to shift with your shifting finger to the position like your that that uh, index finger is your position marker. Uh, seconds. So in this scale form, I shift to three here. That that just happens in the vertical scale form. And then, uh, and then uh, I'm on the third string, and then I shift. Okay, now, this is important uh, as well. When I shift here, I shift to the seventh position, but I don't play that note because I'm just shifting positions. This note does not belong in the scale. I'm just shifting to the scale position, and I'm starting on this note. Let's try third string. Again to the now fourth string. From, unless I've got a shift within the scale, which I do here, right? Uh, but in each case, I'm, I'm shifting from, uh, when I have a shift in the scale, I'm shifting from three to seven, three to seven. And then when I don't have a shift in the scale, I'm shifting from two to seven, and two to seven, and two to seven. Okay, now, uh, so, so we start with uh, uh, first position, shifting to fifth position, and then we go from, from second position, shifting to seventh position. Uh, so now let's, let's just do one more, and that is uh, shifting from fifth position. Here's our fifth position here. <laughs> So we're in the sort of in the middle of the neck, and then we're going to shift to position nine. Now, position nine is is a little more complicated because there are there are shifts in position nine within the position itself. You know, going to ten. Okay, good. So here we go again. Uh, let's let's start on first string. Right? And then and then we'll work our way back down, shift to fifth position. And then we'll go to position uh, a second string and then shift. Sh always shift to the position. Now, when, when I say always shift to the position, I think you're probably getting the idea now. But that means that my eye, my eye is going, I, I don't have to look as much as I did 25 years ago or something, but my eye is, is following my position finger. My eye is not following where I want to play the next note. So the move is always to your position finger first. And then your and then your finger uh, your uh, and then after that you you uh, um, articulate the uh, the note that you that you want to play. So let's uh, so down from uh, down from first string 
to the fifth position, and then we go up the second the string, and down the second the string, up the third string, down the third string, and then up the fourth string. You get the idea. I, I probably don't have to um, go through the whole thing, and, and, and I won't. Uh, now, when, if, you've got, if you've gotten that far, uh, you you can take it you can take it from from the uh, you, you, you you could you could take it from um, uh, position seven to position twelve as well right and uh, it, with you know through the through the same thing so position twelve will be the repeat and and position seven okay. Now I think I've I've probably made the point of 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 the position finger and the position finger being what you look for. You're looking for uh, you're looking for scale positions. Now we can uh, now at this point we could cross over um, and and go just maybe a little bit further. I'll I'll just try a couple. How about uh, string uh, in an open position? We'll shift on string three. See what I'm doing? I'm still doing those same shifts, but now I'm crossing over. I'm playing laterally across the fretboard, always with the same idea, with exactly the same concept, with exactly the same connections that I made from, from for instance, from one to five and two to seven and five to nine, right? Same connections. Except now I'm I'm making three connections at a time, if not if not four connections at a time. When you get to that point, when you understand how the shifting this shifting concept works, it's not just my concept. It's just I I, I mean I got a lot of this from studying classical guitar to tell you the truth. Um, but when you uh, uh, get to the point where uh, you understand this shifting concept with your first finger and you're not targeting the next note you want to play, which is what you want to avoid. Uh, then you can start to, to, to do scale practice through, um, through several shifts and, and a horizontal scale practice. So if you find a nice pathway, let's say we'll develop one here. Okay, as you can see, I'm working laterally across the fretboard. Now, if I think, wow, that feels comfortable, I really like that one, I would spend, I would spend time on working through that in laterally across, across the fretboard uh, as, as a scale practice routine. I would, I would play that 10 or 20 times. There are so many combinations that you could use here, but the, the whole idea is to find a concept of crossing from vertical to horizontal scale positions, and that's the concept. The index finger guides the rest of your fingers to the positions. That's why they're called positions. And, uh, and then you can start your journey into horizontal, uh, horizontal scale practice. Which is, uh, which is a real eye-opener. Now, that's not to say that vertical scales are inferior to horizontal scales. Not at all. Um, it, and it, and it, there are stylistic uh, considerations. Um, in, in jazz, for instance, when, when, you're, when you're improvising over you know, uh, a chord that maybe lasts for a little while or, you know, a measure or two measures. Um, you know, it's, it's, it works. 
it works fine to play the scale forms horizontally because uh, or I mean vertically because the chords are are very are, are very vertical and they only last for a short period of time right uh, so stylistically you, you will be playing you'll be playing mo more vertically in that style than you would for instance in in a progressive fusion style where you're in one key for a long period of time and uh, and you want to rip you know across across the fretboard then uh, the, then you'll be using you know horizontal forms much more uh, and uh, and and this this concept of of the of the shifting finger will be important to you right um, and then also it, it doesn't matter what style uh, a, a part of this is not style sensitive. It's, it's got to do with, with just being able to get from one region of the fretboard to the next region of the fretboard it, with, with um, economy, uh, efficiently and easily and musically, you know, so you're not, you're not even thinking about where you're going. So the whole idea of integrating a system like this is that it's going to work in every key. It's going to work in no matter what style you decide to play in. Uh, the emphasis may be different, but the but the requirements will always be the same. Uh, so that that's a discussion about about uh, horizontal and vertical scale systems and the index finger making the shifts to the position, the scale positions and not shifting on other fingers to notes, right? That's what you want to get away from. Okay, I hope that made sense to you. Um, and, uh, and these pages I, I've excerpted from my book on scales, uh, which is, which is v a very graphic representation of, uh, of how scales uh, work and how scale systems work. If you're interested, you can pick that up on Amazon. You can pick up just about anything on Amazon. And uh, that being said, Happy New Year to you all, all you like serious guitar players who actually want to learn how to play. And I welcome you. And uh, as far as serious guitar players go, I don't care what, what level you're at, as long as you're serious about it. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, Happy New Year to you all. And thanks a lot. See you. Bye.